Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that I said something that encouraged you to keep on coming back. Y'all, I had I just came back from dropping my daughter off to work, y'all. And I decided to pop on YouTube and I saw this video. Now, I don't have the girl's name. I was trying to search for it in my search part. I'm going to find it. And if I do find it, I'm going to put it down in the description. She really, she was beating herself up a little bit, but she really don't know how much she encouraged me to keep going. Now, granted, I don't have any desire to quit today, you know, but that has not always been the case. So I just felt, felt like I just needed to come here and excuse y'all was being a little greedy this morning. I just wanted to come here just to encourage somebody else like I was encouraged this morning. Like, I feel like that goes a long way. And I jotted down a couple of notes, y'all, because y'all know I'll be forgetting all over the place. So I want to start with the basics, y'all. First, I, like I said before, I don't know if I already said my name, but I'm Kina. Some people call me Kayla Shea. Some people call me Beans. I just want to come here to encourage you, but more importantly, to tell you why I think, why I know that YouTube is a brilliant, 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 brilliant idea and that why you should just start. Just do it. So let me tell you first why I started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel because um, we, me and my, my kids were kept watching YouTube. Now, I didn't know anything about YouTube. This was back in, I started my channel a while ago, y'all. This was back in 2017. My kids were watching YouTube. They kept watching this. The same couple of families and i'm like y'all keep watching them y'all can do that yourself now back then i told myself that you had to have a camera you had to have lighting you had to have all this different stuff because i saw this in these videos so i'm like once we get that we gonna start i wish i really wish i would have started back in 2017 but we didn't we ended up starting march of 2019 but get this y'all although i said i didn't want to start without a camera i started without a camera now, I'm going to get into another video of that, of how to start and what you need to start uh, a YouTube channel. But today, this is just about telling you why you should and why you shouldn't give up. And I mean, and, and this is regardless, this is regardless of the views. This, I don't care if you're just getting 100 to 1,000 views because that's what the boat I'm in right now. I used to get thousands of views, thousands of views. And back then, I felt like that wasn't good enough. Now, I'm like, dang, I'll take them a couple thousand views because now I'm not even getting that. But now, I'm more motivated than ever to continue going on. It's crazy. It's crazy. But for me, YouTube has been, like I said, I started because my kids, I just wanted to show them that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if this is something that you want to do, do it by all means. So I was like, you know what? Obviously they felt like they kept on making excuses. They felt like they couldn't do it. So I said, you know what? One day I'm just going to surprise them. I'm going to set everything up and I'm just going to start it. Now, originally, I don't know if you remember or not. I did lose some weight. Originally, our name was Blended Squad. And it was because me and my kids have different last names. So, you know, our names combined, blended, you know, we're a blended family, basically even though they my babies. So um, so anyway, fast forward to today. It's been five years. We started March 19th, March 5th, 2019. And we were on a roll at first. Let me tell you, I was celebrating 100 subscribers, okay? I celebrated 1,000 subscribers. Like, I was on a roll. Baby, we even had a monetization party where we had some big YouTubers in the building. Like, if you were there, then you know, you know. Anyway, y'all, after that, um, a lot happened. I told y'all what come with a story time. This ain't that story time video. I'm gonna do another one. Um, but I, I, a lot happened after that and I stopped. When I tell y'all I stopped, I stopped completely, y'all. I tried to come back the next year so. I threw a video out there. It just didn't feel right. I came back the next year. I threw one or two videos out that year. It's just like I couldn't get it right. I had to fix me. I had to fix me. And I didn't know. I felt like, okay, like I'm not whole at all. Like I can't get it together. I can't do this. I can't do that. Y'all know when I got it together? Well, first I had to have a hard, long conversation with myself and some some deep prayer, okay, to get out of that thing that I was in. But y'all, y'all know more than anything, what helped me was doing my YouTube. YouTube, that's what I'm telling you. There are so many benefits that may not be financial. YouTube for me has always been my stress reliever. I get in front of this camera and for those 15 minutes, those 30 minutes, those five minutes, my problems, my my with my worries, whatever it is I'm going through, it's not there. It goes away for the moment. And I feel so free. That's how I know that this is where I'm supposed to be. Not only that, YouTube has been, since I can remember, my creative outlet. The girl said it on her video. And I'm like, oh my God, like, that's so true. Like, I can be myself here. And so, and this world full of fakes, I can be myself here. I don't have to put on a front or be somebody else. And I think that's another reason why I haven't got as many views because for so long, I was trying to be that that YouTube family that my kids is watching. I was trying to be that other YouTube that was getting up millions of views. I wasn't being Kena. I wasn't being Kayla Shea. I lost myself somewhere in this creative outlet. 
It wasn't, it wasn't so creative anymore. It was more so like monkey see, monkey do. I'm done with that. When you come onto this platform, just be you. I have seen more genuine love and support. And like I said, I'm not getting the millions of views right now. I should be so much further alone <laughs> in over five years. I should be so much further alone, but I'm not. I'm at 10,000, like 600 followers or subscribers. I should be at least 100K by now, like seriously. And I'm seeing these kids run it up and it can be a little discouraging. I'm seeing them come on the scene like a month, two months, and they like, they have 50, 60,000 subscribers. And I'm like, Lord, what am I doing wrong? But it wasn't my timing, you know? I feel like God has everything planned out in his own timing. So when it's time and when the time is right, I'm going to get to where I need to be or where I'm supposed to be. So anyway, fast forward. Like I said, it's my creative outlet. It can be a creative outlet for you. It was my stress reliever. It still is my stress reliever. You wouldn't believe how shy I am. Well, I, I will say how shy I was. I was in a shell, like a shell shell before I started YouTube. I would never... And, and believe it or not, a lot of YouTubers are shy. <laughs> They're shy. They don't like speaking in front of people. For me, for, it's, it's weird to some people to sit and talk to a camera all day. But for me, it's more weird. It's just like the girl said that too. It's crazy because I, I really didn't know so many people felt the way I felt. It's easier for me to talk to the camera than it is for me to talk in front of a crowd of people. At least it was. Like I can still, I can talk in front of way more people now than I could five years ago. Five years ago, you couldn't pay me to talk in front of a group of people. No, 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 I could never. This has opened up so many different windows of opportunity for me, you wouldn't believe. If you go into my TikTok, I have 44.9, almost 45,000 followers, y'all. Me, for little old me, and when I tell you that they engage so heavily, like that's another thing that keeps me going. Cause I'm like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe I'm hitting the wrong, you know, group when it comes to YouTube. Maybe I need to really sit down and like find that niche. And then I'm like, no, I don't want to be niche down. I, don't, I shouldn't have to. And I don't have to. I just want to be myself. I just like to document my life. And that brings me to the next, uh, the next reason why it's great for you to be on YouTube. It's a brilliant idea because guess what? You're not always going to be so young and pretty and sexy and, you know, vibrant. Your babies are going to grow and all that. People are going to, you know, uh, grandparents and all that. They're going to die off and you were left with just memories. Why not document them? Because that's what my vlogs are mainly about. They're about my family. They're about our daily life. They're about showing y'all things as well, but they're about bringing you into my world. You know, giving you a piece of my world. That's what Vlogmas, that's why I enjoy Vlogmas so much. Because I know that one day my kids are going to get older and they're going to have kids of their own. And I want them to be able to show their, their, their childhood our daily life, what we went through, the sacrifices, the all of the different challenges that we went through. You know, that's good. It's great, great to show the good, but I like to also show the bad. I like to also um, just be honest with my followers. So um, like like I said, you know, people are gonna die off and all that. And that's part of my reason why I wasn't, wasn't on YouTube for a couple of years. I had a lot of death going on in my family, but thank God that I was able to document some of my grandparents um, on my YouTube channel. And I can go back when I'm feeling lonely. And my family members can go back when they're feeling lonely. Some of the videos I didn't post yet, but I will. And they can go back and they can reflect on those moments that we had. And they can smile or cry or whatever they need to do at that time. But memory saver more than anything. It's for me to keep my memories. This is getting on my neck. <laughs> but y'all, it, it has really helped me a lot, y'all. It really has. So somebody asked me a hard question, y'all. And I had to also ask myself that question. Why do you keep going? Why do you keep going when only 100 people are watching you? Why do you keep going when you're only getting about 10 to 20 likes? Why do you keep going when you're only getting um, minimal money? Why? Why? That's a, that's a, a, a deep question. You know, it's kind of open-ended, but it's a deep question. Why do you continue to get up, turn on the lights, start that camera up, and continue to talk and spill out your guts and encourage people and help people with weight loss and, and just... Be your bubbly self and, you know, put your life out there when no one is willing to receive it. It's simple. It helps me. Like I said, it helps me. I, I feel, I feel like, like YouTube, when I'm not doing it, I feel lost. Like it, it has become like recording and being an influencer and a creator. It has really um, become a part of my life. Like if I'm not pulling out my camera when I'm out at, at an event, I don't feel right. 
Like I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like, like I'm missing something. I have to do that. And at first it was so weird for my family members and friends. But now when I don't do it, they're like, you're not going to record this. You don't want to record this party. You don't want to do this. And it's crazy because I started trying to give people that respect and um, their privacy and not record. And now it's like, they look forward to it. And I'm like, maybe this is really what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this is like, you know, like kind of sort of like my calling. Um, but I also came on here because I, I've always been a good cook. Um, never been the, the fancy type of cook. I just been a mama that cooks, you know, I'm good with the soul food and all that. The plating, I've never been one that be able to really plate it up real good. I'm not that kind of cook, but maybe everything I cook is good. So I know how to teach the other mama something so they can give their kids good meals. So that's another reason I wanted to come on here. And another reason why it's good. You're helping others. I lost 54 pounds. As I said in the last video, if you did not see the last video, check it out. I lost 54 pounds and I've been able to keep it off. I feel great. And I'm just, I just feel the need to encourage others to do the same. So that's what I do mainly on my TikTok. I, I show others how I lost weight and um, what I do to maintain it and keep it off. Um, and if you don't know, like with Kayla Shay is, um, is my name on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok. Um, I believe Snapchat too, I'm not sure. It might be just Kayla Shay. Um, Facebook, I think it's just Kina. It might be Kina Lachey, Kina Clayton, I'm not sure. But y'all, I'm just saying. Yeah, it just changed my mindset completely. Um, but another question I would ask myself and I would also ask, um, why do I feel I haven't grown? I feel like I haven't grown because, like I said before, I kind of touched base on this already. I feel like I was trying to follow the crowd. I feel like I had a lot of fear, fear of failure, um, fear of disappointing my children, um, following trends, not being able to follow the trends that were going out. Like, I'm a mother. Like I said in my last video, you can learn all about me in the previous video. I'm a mother and certain things I'm just not willing to do. So some, certain raunchy trends, I'm not going to follow that. I'm just, I'm always worried about like what my kids are going to feel or how people are going to look at my kids or, or will, will I be talked about and embarrass my kids? Like, you know, I worry about stuff like that. So a lot of times that, that hinders me from being able to grow because I can't jump on that trend that everybody else is jumping on. So this is just me being transparent. This is just me. Um, encouraging you to encourage someone else to start if you were thinking about doing that that business started you were thinking about starting that youtube channel started that instagram you want to be a content creator do it don't let anybody discourage you from doing what you want to do if you fail so what get up and try again you won't know if you're good at something if you don't try okay you won't know you can get on this phone you can get on the camera you can get on whatever it is and realize that dang this is where I was supposed to be all along. This was my calling all along. I've been looking for ways to encourage that young lady, those young ladies, uh, the kids, the, the young men. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to do just that. This is a perfect opportunity to show this young crowd how to edit. Show this young crowd how to vlog. Show this young, uh, these young ladies how to cleanse themselves, how to be wholesome. You know, how to keep your self-respect and your dignity. This is the way. So I just wanted to come here, like I said, just for that reason alone, you know, just to let you know that don't wait, start now. Now is the time, regardless, regardless of the views, regardless of the followers. One day they'll come. They'll come when you least expect it. One day people will just up and just share your video when you least expect it. One day you won't have the bag for likes and comments and follows and, you know, you won't have the bag for none of that. But today I just encourage you to start, record and just be yourself. And if you made it this far, and if you feel as though you wanna go ahead and subscribe, do so. I encourage you to do so. If you wanna like, do so. I just don't wanna force anybody to do anything that they don't wanna do. But that's the end of the video, y'all. And I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, y'all, remember that self-love is the what? The best love. Bye.